Welcome back, everyone, to me blasting everything. I hate everyone. I'm the governor. I hate people. I'm supposed to tax them to death. It's awful. It's completely terrible. I can't believe it. I'm not rich, and I keep taxing everyone more and more and more and more! Why do they not give me the money that I deserve? Well, jeez Louise, Grod Byron, for crying out loud. Like, jeez, way to take the beginning of my episode for me. Welcome back, everyone. This guy is crazy. Who likes this guy? No one likes this guy. I doubt anyone really likes this guy, honestly. I have no idea. Those bloody knights. Not even a word of, th of thanks for finding their man. And now they shut me out of their secret meeting. This is my manor. Wow, they held you out of the secret meeting. How terrible. Master! What is it, Goddard? I was cleaning Lord Cosmo's old office. And lo and behold, I found Lord Cosmo right there! I came across this, my master! Holy crud, it's a piece of paper! This old paper, so what of it? What? This... this can't be! If the contents therein are indeed true, Master, you hold the trump card for moving the country within your hand. But what should I do with this? I know, I'll tax the citizens even more! Played wrong, a strong card can bring doom. But played at the right time, it'll bring Master vast wealth and honor. Please allow me, Gara, to offer you my humble advice, Master. What? I want to hear the advice he has to offer, though. Aw, oh, man. Meanwhile, over here, outside the room, our main hero broke in. Well, I made it in, but now what? Voices. I don't know if that's the best idea. I mean, how would they not notice it? You should have informed us that you were coming. We were sincerely concerned when we heard Agat sent assassins for you. I lost all my men, and I was injured. So if you've gotten the Cardinal's approval for my proposal... Yes, however, why did you enter this country? Depending on your reply, we may have to reconsider our position. I've told you, this is my final check before attack. Hmm, fine. Then we shall accept that story. After all, we are partners who share a common dis destiny. Does that mean that Nico's a bad guy? What does this mean? Why is Nicola seeing the head Blood Knight? Who's there? Darn! Oh, he's been caught. Look at Kratos. Wah! 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 Okay, now you're being a little bit too loud. This is gonna be everyone's attention at that point. What is going on here? I caught the spy well, sir. Kratos, what are you doing here? Nikolai came to save you. Ah, an acquaintance then, Prince Nikola. He's just a child from the village. Let him go. After having heard us, I think not. If this gets out, not only you, but the Cardinal will be endangered. Throw the spy in the dungeon. Yes, sir. But the prince said not to. Why don't you listen to him? Isn't he your master? I mean, it's making me seem like he's your master, but I don't know now. But they're still not listening to him, so maybe not. I don't know. What's going on? Oh, poor Kratos, now in the dungeon for all eternity. Dang. What have I got into? Excuse me, someone's coming. 
Oh, hi, Nicola. What's up? Kratos, are you all right? Nicola. I've put the guards to sleep. Get away now. To sleep? Wait, I need you to explain something. I have no time for that. You must get out of here. Why are you meeting someone like that? Dot, dot, dot. The joint rule of Queen Mother Agath. Ag Agatha? Wait, wasn't it Agatha before? I swear it was. Agatha and Cardinal Ladderock is coming apart. The re relations have been cold since Agatha began wooing the Twin Empire. That's not what I asked. The Cardinal is the other parasite besides the Queen Mother. Why are you with his henchmen? Weren't you saving the country? That's exactly what I intend. If it wasn't necessary, I would never have approached such scum. But without Lord Cosmos' cooperation, I have to rely on the Cardinal. Yeah, because Lord Cosmos is like, No, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything! So you'll just, you'll turn a blind eye to injustice. Then you're just like my father, Nicola. I don't see how we're getting that connection again, but alrighty then. Sure. You can't change the world by always being good. You have to understand that, Kratos. Understanding that would make things a little easier now, wouldn't it? Get out of there, Kratos, before it's too late. But, why did I come here? To listen to this? Dot, dot, dot. Adele, I can't leave Adele here. We'll, we'll get away from these dirty, scheming adults. Oh, crud, watch out. Also, I think I stopped call. I think I just changed her name randomly. I was calling her Adelie before, now I'm calling her Adele. Alright, whatever. I think Adele's supposed to be the way I'm supposed to call her anyway, so whatever. If that's the way I'm just gonna be used to calling her, I'm just gonna call her that. <laughs> uh, force of habit, I suppose. I don't know. Huh? I ended up in another room. Oh, really? You went out a door and came out of another room? I had no idea. The manor is just huge. Oh. Okay, hi there, Adele. But she's like asleep in a chair or something? <laughs> well, uh, who are you? I had been pondering about how to dispose of the old man. Just perfect and walks the child to be his killer. Dot dot dot? Come hither, my puppet. Lord Cosmo? Holy crud, mind control! I will kill you! I will kill you! I will kill you! I didn't see what Kratos said, I kind of forgot he said something. Entertain him well, my puppet! Oh shoot. What's the matter with you, Lord Cosmo? Kill, 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 kill. Kill, 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 kill. I have to fight? Apparently. You're gonna fight Lord Cosmo one on one. You're gonna be all like, well, here we go. This is gonna be great. Let me guess, this is the first freaking boss fight that's supposed to be apparently a joke, accordingly to. To Malum. He was like, oh, the first boss is gonna be a joke. This is probably it. Defeat Cosmo or defeat Death of Hero. I mean, holy crud, what a surprise, right? Where you at, Cosmo? 35 health, huh? Alright, well, this will probably be very easy. I don't see Adele in here anywhere, but... I would like to put you over there as close as possible to him. Battle start! Let's make this pathetically... Oh. He doesn't move, huh? Understood. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons right now. 
I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, we're gonna go over there. We're gonna do a tech action. No, I'm just kidding. We're probably not because we can't do anything. Oh. Oh no. Is there any marks in here? I would hope not. I don't see anything suspicious looking, so I'm going to assume no. Alright, let's attack. Let's make this super easy. And prepare yourself. I'm right here. Of course he doesn't move, he's all like, eh. Dark circle! Whoa, that's actually a pretty big circle right there. I don't want to die to that now, heck no. Move, action, let's go. Let's not go with that, let's go just stab him back. I think that's always a good call. Take this! Lord Cosmo, what's the matter? Stop! And then one more hit is all it's gonna take. Dark Circle, no! He's casting magic! I mean, at least he's not doing a wide range attack with that. It kinda looks like it's a lot wider than it is, but it's not. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do... I almost kinda wanted to just smack him in the face with the shield, but nah, let's not do that. Alright, attack! Prepare to die, Cosmo! Ugh! What? What? What happened to me? What have I been doing? Well, obviously you've been doing something very bad, Mr. Cosmo, sir. But it is what it is. Booty, zero. Perfect bonus, zero. Yeah. That's terrible. We didn't get any booty for that. Gotta always get some booty for every battle. Come on, man. Alright, alright. That's all good. No worries. Sometimes you don't get the booty, apparently. Oh, how could you kill me, Kratos? Lord Cosmo, hang on. Kratos! What? Why? I... Is he just gonna die right there? Lord Cosmo! Dot dot dot! Oh good, he's still alive. He said dot dot dot. Um, oh, it's Adele, okay. Uh, hey -ya! Adele! Oh yeah, she was right in the room. I kind of forgot about that. Grandfather! Adele, I... Kratos, you... You killed him! Oh, great. This is gonna be like a freaking chocolate situation where it's like, Oh my gosh, you killed my grandfather. Now I'm gonna hate you for like half the game and then, then I'll finally realize that you were forced to do it and then... Something like that. Killed him? I... Why? Grandfather always treated you well. Gosh, if only she freaking realized the situation there. And she was literally in the room too. Adele, please listen, I... Did you use me to get close to Grandfather? Father was right, you were just a peasant, a dirty criminal! No, it's not true, Adele, listen! No! What was that? It was from the hall, come on! Dang, someone's coming. What you gonna do, Kratos? What you gonna do? What should I do? Come on, think, Kratos, think! And then the screen fades to black, and I'm like, I have no idea what to do. If I stay here, they'll catch me for sure. I didn't mean to, but I killed Lord Cosmo. They'll ex execute me. Should I run? If I jump from the window, I should be able to make it to the river. But what about Adele? If I run, I may never be able to explain what happened. Come on, think, Kratos. What's most important to you? The glory of the throne? Yes, to escape the life of a serf and become the king above all. That's my wish. It was me who killed Lord Cosmo. It wasn't a monster I killed. I killed a living, breathing person. I can't turn back now. The blood I shed today will be only the first drop of my conquest. Wait, what? That's it! I'm gonna go on a conquest and rule the world! 
Well then, that's interesting. What is happening? What? Look at this! Arrest that boy! He killed my grandfather! Capture that boy! He killed grandfather! Dot dot dot. I'm sorry, Adele. I'll try to make some am make amends one day. Again, if only she realized what the freaking heck was going on. It's a freaking chocolate situation all over again. I, I ah, Jeez Louise. Why can't they just understand? It's like, well, hey, you know, I didn't. I was forced to, you know, and thus I made my escape. But what exactly did I run from? You ran from capital punishment, of course. From my pursuers, from Adele, from Destiny, or from the danging truth that I killed a man with my own hands? Or perhaps I was trying to make my escape from them all. Even now, I have not yet found the answer to what I had been running from. I'm even no longer certain if I really did manage to escape back then. It is all but lost in the shadows of my memory. Losing things in the shadows of your memories. Oh my gosh, now. That's some crazy stuff we got going on. Now loading. Escapism. Several days later. Several days later, we were finally caught. Byron Manor, Adele's room. I can't believe he killed my grandfather. What was he thinking? <clears throat> oh, it's a maid. She's back. Woo! You want some soup now, Lady Adele? Your ladyship, your carriage has arrived. With lots of soup in it, of course. I forget what the other thing I was joking about was. Like, oh, a soup in something else. Freaking, gosh dang, what was it? Oh, soup, it was soup and tea, wasn't it? You gotta have your soup and tea, of course. Yes, I'm coming. I really do like soup and tea. I hated that I ran and ran away from it last time. I felt so bad about it. I really had a craving for it later that day. I never got to eat it. No one came for me, after all. No one came to save me from this. Dot dot dot. And she's all like, no, I can't believe it. No, I can't be crying about this. I just can't do this. I have to be strong. Strong enough to save myself. And revive my grandfather. If I can't escape my life as a noble, fine. I won't run. I will be proud. I'm taking charge of my destiny. Yeah, take charge of destiny. Because if you don't take charge of destiny, well, things are not going to go right now, I'm afraid. Prologue end. Holy crud, that was the longest prologue of all time. And I thought Genealogy of the Holy War had a long prologue. No, I'm just kidding, it's, it's different, you know. In the year, holy year, nine... Freaking heck, I can't read. In the holy year 989, Nikola Atkin Natra made his return to his homeland. The orphan son of Natra's Prince Julius, Nikola led a rebel army with the support of the Vernance Republic to challenge the rule of Queen Mother Agatha. Cardinal Lodorak, Lodorak seized the opportunity to launch his own revolt against Queen Mother Agatha. In just one week, the Queen Mother's army collapsed in utter chaos, leaving the capital Yuger for Lodorak's taking. Amidst the confusion, friends, the puppet king disappeared. Nicola stepped into the void, proclaimed himself the 46th King of Natra in a hurriedly organized coronation. Queen Mother Agatha fled the royal city of Uger and found sanctuary in the fortress city of Gar Gardiu. Her safety assured, Agatha exhorted Natra to take arms against Nicola, the usurper. Queen Mother Agatha found an ally in the Zora Archeo Emperor. He agreed to send troops in return for his third son, Gregor. Oh gosh, not Gregor again. Jeez Louise. Why is he always in every game? Marrying her daughter, Princess Mania and becoming the King of Natra. The Twin Empire's entry plunged Natra into a horrific civil war between two kings, each with foreigners perched on his shoulder. For eight tragic years, the war would ravage the kingdom. 
Oh my gosh, it's going to ravage the kingdom. Chapter 1. Everything goes insane. I want a title for the chapter, though. Cha every chapter's got to have a title, right? Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Now loading the beginning of the game. All over again. Yeah, so I was apparently being very stupid about the, the Blood Knights. I was thinking, oh, that was foreshadowing at the beginning, right? It was not. I was being dumb. There was no foreshadowing at all. Something that already happened because they were looking for Nikola or whatever. So, yeah. It already happened. It wasn't something that was going to happen. Year 996. Nacho Walta region. Oh my gosh, it's a train. It's a train that we can barely see, but now we can see it. Chugga 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 choo choo! Choo choo! Chugga 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 choo choo! Oh man, this train is loud. Who's this? Who's this knight? Who's that guy? Who's everyone? Oh my gosh. Hello, sir. I see they have you working. Uh, hey, you idiot. You're not supposed to be out here. If the captain finds out, I let a civilian on the, on the army train. But sir, I, can, I can't stay cooped up forever. I'm just a lowly merchant. I paid you enough money. Let me enjoy some air. This is some train. It's probably the best train I've ever seen in my entire life. It's obvious Vernance's backing makes East Natra strong. Hmm, yes, you could say that. The West with the Twin Empire is no match for us, but... But... Oh, you're worried about something. The Gang of Bandits, Red Wolf, you heard of them. They never attack ordinary people, only military units, both East and West. Just this past month, they hit three of our supply units. It was very devastating. That's many? They must have one big organization. I find it hard to believe, but no, there's just three. The three of them are easily the equal of one of our night brigades. Is that right? There's a bit of Hockum, right? It's true, each of them is supposed to be a terror. Supposed to be, but they're not, are they? There's Vlad, a hulking giant who's nicknamed the Ox Killer. The self-centered Pike, the elusive monkey quick acrobat. Dot dot dot. And their leader, the surgical swordsman. Huh. What was it now? Something about a blaze? Anyway, he's supposed to be one tough customer. Whoa! <coughs> Emergency brakes, whoa! Whoa, whoa, what's going on? That's a good question. I have no idea what's going on right now. Wait, is that Kratos grown up? Oh, crud. Uh, okay, I guess I can't give him a regular voice now, or... Wait, can I? Hmm. I'm Kratos of Red Wolf. Turn over your supplies. Nobody needs to get hurt. Do as we say and get out alive. Alright, so we jump into the future, huh? Interesting. It's him! He's the leader of Red Wolf, Kratos the Blaze! And over there, that must be Vlad, the Ox Killer! Vlad the Ox Killer? I mean, who the heck is Vlad supposed to be? Uh, what voice would I even give Vlad right now? Hmm. You fight, I destroy! You better not fight! <laughs> I don't freaking know. Oh no, this is impossible! Oh wait, what? He actually said, oh no. We're in deep trouble! Wait a second, there should be one more! Pike the Acrobat! Oh geez, I wonder who Pike the Acrobat is. So centered, am I? No, it can't be! 
That's right, pal. I'm Pike. Plot twist. Aya, mercy. So now it all makes sense, huh? It's a good boy. Resistance is futile. So what is Kratos and all these people doing right now exactly? Oh, what's this? I don't know. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's soldiers, and a priest, and a captain, and another soldier. And then a, a hero? Fools! You fell right into our trap! Get them! <laughs> if, that's how, if that's the way you want it. Alright, well that's the way they want it, therefore they're gonna get it now. They're gonna get it really good! <laughs> Excuse me. I can't wait until they get it because they're gonna be all like, whoa, holy crap, they got it. They got it so good, I didn't even know. Now loading the future! Victory, defeat all enemies, defeat death of hero. Oh no. Not the death of hero, anything like that. I'm just going to assume I can't move him, he's just gonna be there. Alright. Wait a second. It's the same weapon, though. Are you trying to tell me that Vlad... Okay, wait, wait, wait. So Vlad is, uh, Clive... ...and... ...Pike is Yuri? Or are they just so happen to have the same equipment for some weird reason? Now I wonder... Alright, well... I don't see what else I can really do other than just move these guys up a little bit, I suppose. Any... wait, there is a treasure right there. Cried. I was gonna say, like, maybe with some battles, maybe I'll try and get the treasure chest off screen. I don't freaking know. What am I doing right now? Alright, I'm just gonna start the battle. Battle start. I should've moved Kratos backwards, though. I'm an idiot. Ah, I'm dumb. I'm just dumb right now. Okay. <coughs> I don't need a... Do I need to still get these things going? Tech? No, no. Alright. So since they're done, I'll just go ahead and wait. Holy crud, he flies! He flies like a bird. So majestically. Well, I might as well just go for the kill, right? No reason not to. Prepare yourself! Take this! It's going to hurt! <laughs> Obviously he's grown up though, I still can't- even if it is Clive, I still can't voice him like Clive because he's grown up now. I gotta add like a new little voice to him and, some, and something like that. I mean, I guess his voice is kind of similar to the way it was before. It's kind of quietish, but, you know, different, you could say. Alright, I don't think I really want to... I don't know, can't I just let the enemy move or something? Probably not. Anyway, you obviously can't go that far. I'm gonna move over there. I think that'll be alright, just move a little bit closer and all will be well. Thinking now, thinking, they're just thinking and thinking. And they're like, holy crud, I need to move right towards you. He didn't even try to attack me, like, holy crud, man. And he just lets his back expose to me like an idiot. I mean, good job, man, just really good job. Here we go, I'm gonna smack you right in the face. Okay, I don't mind, I don't mind. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't actually mean to take a hit right there, but... Yeah, whatever. Too slow, take that. Oh no, he's dead! What a shame indeed! Level up! I like how the level up is still as cheery as ever, basically. So level 8 now, and these guys are level 7. Interesting, and Vlad's level 8. Well, I'd say it's only fair that I go ahead and attack this guy in the back right now. These guys don't seem very strong, though. They are kind of weak. Alright, alright, boom, got him, ugh. And that gave me how much experience points? 
33. Holy crud. 20. They all have 20. They're pretty weak there. Sheesh. All right, just moving on. Just going to open up a treasure chest real quick. I'm not going to let you get the last laugh. No siree. It's Kratos that gets the last laugh. Because he opens up a treasure chest right here and right now. Unlock. I'm thinking in the future when I have battles that might be repeatable, I'm probably going to maybe try to redo the treasure chest off screen if they're good items. I don't know what I'm really going to do yet, to be honest. A halberd? I already had one, though. I literally already had one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 22 experience points for game. Cool. Let us just go ahead and attack this guy in the back. And the AI is not going to be smart enough to outpredict me here, so it's like, okay. Well, shoot, this guy's going over there. Why? Nothing makes sense anymore. Oh! I don't like that I'm getting 33, because that means I'm just going to end up at 99 later on. And that's not good. I didn't think so. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's go over there. Let's wait. We'll be ready to strike, of course. And you're going to get behind me, so... If I just do that, I should be good to go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What are you going to do about it? When I stab you in the back, you're going to be all like, Whoa, bleh. Got him. And that was that. We got the halberds, we got the victory, we got everything, we got the booty. That's a lot of booty for an easy battle like that. That was way... Oh, gosh. 10,000 booty. 10,000 booties! Like, holy crud. What are you going to do with all that booty? You can't do anything. I'm just kidding. You can buy stuff, obviously. But, oh my gosh. For Pete's sake. Holy crud. It's just getting, like, exponential growth on the booty levels here. Hmm. We walk right into that trap. Pike, you on you on train? Why you not notice? Hey, stuff happens. Quit moaning, you oaf. I still don't really know what to do for Vlad's voice. I mean, even if he, whether he's uh, whether he's Clive or not, it doesn't really matter. But still, I don't know what voice to really give him. I'm not from here, so I not talk good. Oh. He really is not Clive, then, apparently. But me, I, I lot smarter than you, Pike. You, you lot more stupid. Say, say that, say that again, you. Shut it, both of you. Come on, let's check the train for valuables. What does Kratos turn into? He's just turning into a raider now. Like, what, what the freaking heck? That's so weird. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, jeez. Cough, go away, please. Who are these two? An old man and a lady, but who would they be exactly? Looky here. Here's an old fogey and a pretty lady. Are you prisoners? You look to be from the West. Old military man, huh? Not, not, not. You bandits! Don't try anything funny! Wait, Captain Lyra. But Baron Prato. Baron Patau? You mean he's the leader of the White Dragons? West Notch's most powerful knight brigade? No, he's not. I don't care who they happen to be. They have nothing to do with us. And people are free to go. Come on, let's go. Whoa, wait. We would like to join you. Dot, dot, dot. I have heard that men like you work as mercenaries. Would you care to be hired by myself for a time? Baron. The job is to escort the two of us to Fort Gusta. The compensation shall be a hundred thousand booty. 
Holy crud, that is a lot of booty. Excuse me, we need that booty. We need it. Dot, dot, dot. For Deuce, uh, not far. Good money for easy job. Hang on, we agreed not to support the East or West. And Fort Gusta belongs to the West. They'll hang us if they catch us. Why? You can, uh, you can remain neutral by not fighting. I will guarantee your safety at Fort Gusta on my honor as a soldier. Any trouble? Lad, make more trouble. No worry. That's pretty. That's pretty shifty logic. Oh, is that so now? Look, Kratos, we should take a, we should take a vote on this. Who's against going to Fort Gusta? Raise your hand. Dot dot dot. Well, oh crud. Well, this is an interesting choice. But I say on the next exciting episode, we make our choice. Will we support the East or will we support the West? Or will we support neither? <clears throat> Which side will we choose? I don't know. But either way, on the next exciting episode, we'll find out which side gets supported. Let me know which side you would support, everyone. I am curious. I am indeed curious. Anyway, everyone, I will see you on the next exciting episode. See you on the other side.